Okay, if you use Minecraft and then you use Fraps to record your Minecraft sessions, you're probably already aware of this on Windows 10. But Fraps does not work with the Minecraft Windows 10 Beta Edition because it doesn't use OpenGL or DirectX to uh, display the game. So you're going to have to find a different solution. But let's go take a look here. So there's a built-in Windows recorder that comes with Windows 10. So we're going to take a look at that. First, we're going to launch uh, Minecraft. So here we are, uh, Minecraft comes up, I have it in the windowed mode here. And you'll see here that sometimes the hint comes up and says Windows G to launch it, but it'll come up automatically sometimes. So here it is. And if you have the red dot and not a grayed out, that means you have the hardware. Now if you don't, here's the list of minimum hardware requirements for the Windows screen recorder. So you can use this instead of Fraps uh, to record your Minecraft sessions. So here we are in Minecraft. And I have a red dot, and I click on it, and it starts recording. Again, uh, if it's grayed out, it won't, you won't be able to record. You'll only be able to take snapshots. And as you can see, it works fine. Uh, runs really great. Uh, and you can also do other things. You can take snapshots by clicking on the camera icon or click on the gear uh, to change some of the settings. So let's take a look at those. So there's a variety of settings here. You can change the default uh, record the last 30 seconds. Uh, record it while you're on battery. Uh, while you're connected to the wireless display, uh, you can have the max length of the clips and, uh, and other things, show the tips when it starts, all that stuff. But the last thing is, is that you can go ahead and uh, go to the Xbox app where you can find, find even more settings to uh, play with. So here we are in the Xbox app and you'll see that we can just basically turn it and turn it off. But you can also create your own shortcuts. If you don't like their shortcuts, you can create your own. For like opening the game bar, you just click on the box and you by next to your shortcut and do that. Record that, start, stop recording, uh, take a screenshot, show hide recording timer, and then you save those changes. Then scrolling down to background recording, we can see there's a, a different options there. Uh, because of performance, it'll do it in the background. Uh, it tells you how long the clip can be, uh, where you want to save it at, uh, you can change your folder. And if you have a lower end system like I'm using here, you can change this video quality to standard instead of high. And the same thing for audio quality as well. Once you have your recordings all ready to go and then you're set up for that, uh, then you can go ahead and make some recordings. So I'm going to load up here show you a couple of recordings, one in window mode and one in full screen that shows the result. Now again, this is on an older Lenovo Yoga 13 tablet with an HD 4000. So there's a little stuttering in the audio here because I have it on high settings because it's the lowest possible one for the Intel platform that you can have in order for this to work. So here we are, we're in Minecraft. When I'm walking around, you'll see though that the draw distance is great. Everything runs nice and smoothly. Uh, runs really well. It records really well. No impact on gameplay whatsoever. Now. And some people with very complex uh, Minecraft, uh, I'm expecting they're going to have a better video card than I have uh, in this system, uh, so they uh, won't be affected as well. Here's a little more complex of a world, but again, runs great, uh, draw distance is great, clarity, everything runs, no pausing. So we can sit here all day and watch the sheep uh, graze or whatever, but. Uh, if you're using Fraps, you're going to have to either use this uh, Windows 10 game DVR or some other software like Bandicam to record your Minecraft sessions. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.